Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Um, I've been having a lovely week. Uh, I've had a few days off work and it's been my birthday. In fact, I, th I feel like I've, I'm a bit like the Queen. I've, I've had uh, at least two or three birthdays. <laughs> and I thought it'd be quite fun to come on and show you some of the amazing presents I've had. God, I've been spoiled absolutely rotten and um, my friends and family know me so well so I thought I'd just give you a really really quick look at some of the amazing stuff I've been given lots of them I will be um, using for projects um, that I'll be sharing here on YouTube so but yeah I just thought and they're in no particular order I just stuck them all in a big box and um, brought them back upstairs so this is one that's um, for my husband uh, he didn't think of it all by himself I have to say <laughs> Um, yeah so this is a little stand that you can clip embroidery frame into so that I can have both hands free to to make the stitches so you can like use one hand to tension the thread and you can yeah it, I think it will make it a lot easier for me to learn to do some proper embroidery <laughs> I'll make a better job of the embroidery that I do oh this is amazing the, uh, my friend Trina gave me this one so this is a bit of a vintage book dolls I mean I love the way the title has been done um simple stitch dolls traditional and miniature dolls dolls houses and furniture and doll clothes and there's all sorts of ideas in here all sorts oh, look at those bead dolls oh. yeah peg dolls some of these are the kind of things I remember doing when I was a kid some of them I've never tried before um but yeah so lots and lots of projects will come out of that one um oh look at this this is from sandy a friend at work my manager at work actually um look how beautiful this is oh she knows i love making um fabric journals um and i was looking at this book came in at work and uh, i was looking at it and thinking oh i can't justify buying that but i love it and how lovely she treated me for my birthday I'm, I'm not going to go all through it but I'll just give you a little flick at some of the beautiful actually what I could do is show you the look, look at these <gasps> beautiful look I think there's one page here that shows the projects that's what I'm looking for just such a gorgeous book I'll stick it there we are the project look at those <laughs> lovely how lucky am I what a lucky girl <laughs> um oh this is another beautiful oh, these don't belong in there I'll just put them in there for... this gorgeous bag was made by another friend at work called Tracy isn't it lovely I think you could use this for all sorts of things but um, for me it will become a little crafty project bag I love it it's got these really long handles oops right and what a beautiful fabric well both of all, all of the fabrics that she's used yeah how lovely oh and I think there's some hand cream in there as well I think that came in the bag yes Ah, oh, here's a lovely stuffed fabric heart. This was from Trina as well. And I thought this was a brilliant idea. It smells absolutely gorgeous. And what she's used in there is those little beads that you put there made for you to put in your washing machine. You throw them in the bottom of the washing machine before you put the wash in to, to fragrance your wash. What a good idea to use them in one of these. Lovely smell that is. Really nice. Oh, this was Trina as well. This is a lovely, I'll show you the end. It's a lovely scarf with pom poms. Very, very me, this is. Here we are. <laughs> oh, I'm going to come back up to face again for a minute. <laughs> so that's my lovely scarf. And uh, and also, this was also from Trina, this necklace. Again, very me, very me. Probably a bit warm for the scarf in here this evening though. <laughs> back to the desk I'm trying to whip through this really quickly I'll come to these in a minute this is another beautiful handmade gift from one of the ladies I work with Averill 
isn't it lovely i mean again you could use that for all sorts of things couldn't you but um, i'm thinking a little crafty project bag because i do tend to have several projects on the go at once and i like having them all in separate little bags with everything i need and inside this avril's really good at lace making and beading and look at this it's actually a magnet a little dragonfly and the great thing is you can even like shape its little tail and wings <laughs> isn't that lovely Strangely enough, I had the idea in my head from um, some bead boxes I've got to get to using because they were real dragonfly colours. I had in my head I was going to try and make a, a beaded dragonfly, so I might have to copy this a bit now. <laughs> ah, put that to one side. Um, oh, this is, this is amazing. Now, this is someone called Juliet Stallwood. I think they're based in Shaftesbury, it was. Now my friend Sally gave me, sent, had these sent to me for my birthday. They were so beautifully wrapped. Come with this lovely message, all wrapped up like this in, a, in the, the box that they came in. But look at this. I had no idea what it was going to be inside. Look, and they smell amazing. Chocolate biscuits beautifully iced look at that with letter a as well i guess i ought to eat them quite soon do you know i just realize there's a surely there can't be another layer no that's just that's just padding but yeah they smell delicious i probably ought to eat them soon before they go stale really but i just wanted to show them off first i have taken a picture as well <laughs> of all of it okay um oh that was a lovely piece of ribbon i think that was the um that was from Sandy's present. She does lovely wrapping. So I thought I'll keep the ribbon and use that again. I'm really lazy about wrapping. I'm not very effort. This is another lovely present from my husband. Thought of it all by himself. <laughs> Little set of embroidery hoops in all different sizes. Um, oh, and a, a rectangular embroidery frame inside there. So these will all fit inside that stand that I showed you first. And this is another lovely present from my friend Trina. A little scissor keep. Look. So she also gave me this little um, pin, little scissors pin to decorate it with. So you can put three different sizes of scissors in here. So your little put, <laughs> and look, it came with these beautiful little scissors in. I'll take that off now. How gorgeous are they? So I can have my little sharp pair of scissors, my paper scissors and my dress making scissors all safely in one place. Isn't that lovely? And there's a brilliant tutorial she sent me a link for actually for how to make these. So I might have a go at making some myself as well. All oh, this is some new wool we've got in at work and I was lusting after it. So Christine, another one of my friends at work, got me a couple of balls of this wool. Oh, they come in the most amazing colours and those were definitely two of my favourites. And I think this is, is this called Mercerized? Well, it's supposed to be better for um, for crochet, which of course, you know, crochet is what I tend to do rather than knitting. So that's good. Uh, now these are from another friend at work, Laura. And um, let me take the lid off. A sheet of watercolor paper there. <gasps> Look, woohoo, beautiful watercolor paints. I'll come back and swatch those on another day and these are these ones sort of here onwards are all metallic that's going to be gorgeous got a water brush pencil and an ordinary little brush and rubber and a little uh, sponge there as well and the most beautiful i love tins and she also gave me this, these gorgeous uh, pencils these are uh, rendell little watercolor paintings are so lovely you, you get them in all kinds of like mugs and tins and pencils. Yeah, lovely. Oh, and um, my son gave me something that you can't see, but you can hear it because <laughs> it's, it's a, oh, I've forgotten what it's called now. It's like a shock absorber thing that, that my microphone is now mounted on. So hopefully, hopefully when I clatter things on the desk and stuff, you won't get so much sound you won't get so much annoying sound and um yeah and the microphone is now held on this kind of gimbal thing 
right in front of me so hopefully the sound will be a lot better but he also got me this um, and it's amazing this is going to be brilliant for doing mandalas and stuff um, yeah you can do all of these different you can do pie charts and so, so many different I mean concentric circles down from this size right down to tiny um, yeah I mean this is just going to be so useful and you can measure degrees on there and you can make pie charts and all sorts of things so that'd be really handy and now uh, this one this is I think this was from Jade at work and have a lovely little treat look at that bath bombs I love a bath bath bombs hand and body lotion and uh, shower gel and this Bayless and Harding stuff is always nice isn't it so that would be a lovely treat um, I'm running out of space better than Christmas this is here's a good one this is for my stepdaughter and her family they know me well <laughs> saying them all another one from Sue another friend at work gorgeous and I really like that you know rather than being in like a plastic packaging that I've got to throw away this is a nice, really nice case that I can use again so that's lovely Now this is the last one that my husband thought of all by himself <laughs> oh, I've wanted to have a go at this for ages so this is a table loom table size loom tabletop loom um, so I can have a go at some weaving and that's what I've got this for so this is the warp thread so I'm not really sure if it actually if I actually really need this warp thread or if I can use some of the cotton crochet thread that I've already got a bit of a stash of because I got some given to me at one point um, but I thought well, I'll try it with the proper warp thread the first time at least and then the idea is that a lot of the fibres and um, scraps of fabric and all sorts of things that I've got felting wool all kinds of things can be used in the weft um, of the weave so yeah I need to look at a whole lot of uh, YouTube tutorials and stuff and get some ideas but yeah I'm really looking forward to that so if you're interested in that watch this space oops <laughs> oh really I'm completely running out of space now last but not least here's what my sister sent me so there's a box of fudge which oh and that came in uh, that came in another one of my bags from work oh, for some reason every single day one piece of this fudge seems to completely evaporate it's really weird <laughs> and this was um the, the main uh, present for my sister it's absolutely gorgeous I love old books like this anyway I mean oh, it's good it's gorgeous it smells lovely it's called the young visitors it's spelt very it's spelt wrong there is a reason for that there's a lot of funny spelling and grammar in this book and this little girl here this little Victorian girl is Daisy Ashford the, the little girl who wrote this book when she was only nine years old apparently there's a forward by J, J, um, J. M. Barry who wrote Peter Pan the young visitors or Mr Saltina's plan and um, so this has been published in 1919 but it was published a long time after Daisy had written it um, I think she actually wrote it some you know during you know sort of mid 19th century so it gives a really interesting and different perspective on Victorian society because more from a child's point of view I guess or a child's idea of, of um, society here's a little now that to me that's um this is the first page of the original manuscript um so this is when she was nine it's very mature looking writing for a nine-year-old I think this is interesting Mr Saltina was an elderly man of 42 <laughs> bless her people didn't live so long in those days generally did they but 42 elderly and was fond of asking people P P E A P O E to stay with him 
he had quite a young girl staying with him of 17 named Ethel Montague. <laughs> he had dark short hair and moustache and whiskers. W-I-S-K-E-R-S. -E which were very black and twisty. So I'm really looking forward to actually reading and just having it. It's, it's just such a lovely little book. So, um, so yes, I think that's it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, how lucky am I? What a lovely, um, what a lovely pile of presents that is. That's a lot of people who know me really well. Um, how long have I? <laughs> it's taken me more than a quarter of an hour just to show you all my presents. That just speaks volumes doesn't it um so you can expect to see some of them being tried out sometime soon on my youtube channel so um watch this space i hope you enjoyed that little peek at my prezzies and um thank you very much for joining me and i will see you again really soon